He's going by Evolution False today. He went by EF last week. Uh, he goes by a whole bunch of other things. Um, why don't you use your name? Hello? Why? Because yeah. I prefer to use a screen name because there's a whole lot of uh, atheist trolls and stalkers out there. I totally understand if we that. Lived in a, if we lived in, yeah, if we lived in a world where we didn't have a lot of uh, miscreant um, stalkers and trolls out there, then maybe I would. You know, let's work to build that better world. I like it. So, um, uh, EF. So my question... Well, hold on, hold on. Um, EF, you've called in a few times, and I do want to kind of bring people through this together before we kind of dive into things, right? The first thing I want to kind of dive into is the, the style of apologetic that you're using. Um, I understand that that's called presuppositional. Uh, would you agree? You could call that, but my view is... Everybody argues from a presuppositional point of view. Could you explain that so people who are watching can kind of follow along as we do this? Because I want this to be the most educational that we can make it. And so if we can work this out so people can watch, we can have a good conversation that people can grow from. Um, yeah, everybody has it operates from a web of belief. Everybody has certain ultimate commitments. Mm -hmm. um, everyone's going to have a belief in something that is ultimate and and their other beliefs will stem from that you do i do every everyone does okay okay so my question to you is um since so, you lack belief in god the personal absolute you must be reasoning from an impersonal absolute um, as the basis i, I, of your I have a clarifying question and can i can i finish my no, question no 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 because i every, i every want to get I through call in, yeah, because you're calling on my show, so you can either wait. You can either wait because I'm trying to clarify this with you. No, you can wait. The reason you can wait is because I want to have an actual conversation, and I want to understand what you're saying. So I want to ask for clarification whenever it comes up. Okay. Oh, were you put on hold? I'm listening. Okay, fantastic. I'm listening. Fantastic. If you wanted to really cut me off, I'll I'll wait. Thank you. So you, you were starting to operate through, you said, because I disbelieve in a God, right? And then you started to attribute a quality to that God. And so I want to explore that because if I don't understand what quality you're talking about, we're going to talk past each other. And that's not a good conversation. So can you yep. give me that first that, quality? That quality is that which is absolute and unconditionally non-dependent. Okay. Now, can, can you can you explain God, that a bit? Yeah, it means that something something that exists that does not begin to exist that provides for all dependencies or contingencies. Okay. Everybody I, has a belief. Do you have any a, examples of um, that? I, I'm trying to answer your question. You're going to cut me off rudely again. Oh, is this the style of your broadcast when you cut people off? I'm sorry. I thought this was talk heathen. Um, y I'm asking you to be specific. Okay. So, yeah, I am being do you have any examples coming. of what you uh, what you said? Um, I'm explaining to you a metaphysic about the nature of reality. Everybody believes that there's something that is absolute that provides for all contingencies. Okay, I don't. Theists uh, believe that. Non-theists believe that. I don't. Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong. You don't have a belief that there's something unconditionally non-dependent. Uh, well, I am. So I asked you to clarify that, and you told me that I was rude and interrupted you. And then when I asked you to clarify you it again, you, you moved rude. past it. So uh, if you're going to ask me, do I think a thing exists? I'm going to ask you what it means. Please. Yeah, I just what do you mean you. by unconditionally yeah, non-dependent? An absolute something is unconditionally non-dependent if its existence does not depend on its beginning or anything independent or external of itself. That's what we would define as an absolute. Okay, so I'm having trouble conceptualizing yeah, that. Can you give me an example abstract. of a thing that I understand that is unconditionally non-dependent? God. God would be an entity that we could offer as an example of something that is unconditionally non-dependent. Okay. Now, for non-God believers... So no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. I'm still exploring this with you. you. Cut me off. No, you're not attempting to support. You're attempting to move on to the next thing. So either you're going to listen and you're going to answer the question or the conversation's over. 
you can show your audience how rude you are. Oh, okay. So he's on hold. Um, you see, you're calling into my show. If you want your own show, create your own show. But if you want to talk to me and have a useful conversation where people aren't yelling at each other, uh, you're going to have to do that. But there's not enough room for your ego on this. Let's try again. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's try Okay. Again. Now, can you not cut me off and rudely interrupt me before I finish? No. I don't care if this is your show. I will tell you where you're being rude, whether this is your show or you're on the sidewalk mm. having a conversation with me. Mm. Now, mm. I'd like to finish without you cutting me off. And yeah, this is what do you the think, third Hector? time I've appeared on your show, and each time you cut me off. I think I think people tend to equivocate and then like want to move on from there. So you don't know what yeah. they're talking about. I mean, yeah. I think that's a. F I, I think it's a fair point. Like, uh, give an example. No. Uh, Go ahead. What are you What are you talking about? It's not. It's not really clear. Uh, well, I'll go through it again. Maybe this time you you guys cannot interrupt me. So Maybe you, you can actually, not. like, you know, and not get so sad. I, I think sometimes this interrupting is okay if it, yeah. if it if it prevents us from, like, yeah, spinning no, our wheels. Doing and doing obstruct my ability to get the question out. It's very obvious what your tactic is. <laughs> the tactic is to break you call. down. Yeah. Because I, I honestly There's think... There's no breaking me down. All oh, you're doing is obstructing my You don't my like questions. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, no, no, he doesn't. He actually returns back and instead of answering a thing, just posits and then refuses to talk about himself. Well, even let me get my question out. Okay, so ask... Okay, let me bring it back because you are very good at redirection. And I do not... No, I'm sticking to my question. No, you you're sticking to a question that I didn't allow you to ask. So, let's go back to the of question course, I asked you at the beginning. Times. Right? The question I asked you at the beginning was... And I'm glad was, you're doing it because it's showing what you're doing. Oh, man. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I don't let um, people who are dishonest to call what and try and run other people's shows. What did I say that was dishonest? The tactic of redirecting what did I say was dishonest? and then oh, you know, is it is it okay for you to interrupt? You know what? No, that's fine. Well, let me get the question. Uh, my show, I really don't Who's need to actually here? drag down Who's with that. Here? So, here's here's how it's dishonest. I right, put him on hold. I know it's talk heathen. It's my show, right? Yeah. My goodness. Okay, let's try this again. Right? You said that God is unconditionally non-dependent. Right? That is a claim that you need to support. Now, for you to turn around and say, what is this about you? You have redirected away from the question I have asked you. And I am not going to allow this conversation to continue if you continue to redirect away from that. You're off hold. Go ahead. Yeah. Now, who's dishonest now? There was no redirection. You wouldn't let me finish the question. What no, you because I asked you a question and you answered with a question. Okay, are you going to cut me off again? Here we go again. Who's being dishonest now, Eric? And I'm glad you're doing it. So, you know why I'm glad? Continue. Because you're exposing. I, I, I love this. Right? I press a button and he shuts up. Um, so, let's, let's try this again. You say God is unconditionally undependent or non dependent. How do you know this? Go ahead. Okay, let's see if I can get my question out without you cutting me off again. No, uh, you're cut off again, right? I asked you a question. You need to answer it. Go ahead. Uh, you asked me for an example of something that could uh, be unconditionally non-dependent. I gave you an example mm -hmm. in the world of metaphysics, theology, and philosophy of something that can be defined as unconditionally non-dependent. I then went on to give a counterexample, uh, which I was unable to do because you cut me off. Yeah, because I said, Another how do you know? Something that I, and you're cutting me off again. Yeah, because I, okay. I, I don't know this why you like hearing the sound of your own voice so much that you're not yeah. willing to have a conversation with somebody. Yeah, so right? Put the script the down here, and listen. Who's just talking? Let me finish. How do you know... That tactic. that God is on. I, I didn't. I didn't go back didn't and listen, man. That I, that is is there any use to this? I gave you a definition. How pointless is this? This is your little oh. game you want to play, and you have the nerve. I have the nerve to have a show. My goodness. <laughs>
I mean... This person's a joke. Uh, so, EF, is there any reason to have a conversation with you, or are you just going to get upset because I asked I'm, you... I'm attempting to have a conversation with you. No, you're attempting to talk me at me. Absolutely. And, um, no, sir, every time I begin to respond to you, you cut me off. Okay, then let's hear your answer to then don't how do you know that a god meets those parameters? I said that god is defined by definition a god or not god can be defined as being unconditionally non-dependent when we talk about entities they can either be unconditionally non-dependent or they can be dependent now before you rudely cut me off i tried to give a counter example of something that is not god now for certain materialists they believe that the substrate of matter is unconditionally non-dependent from which the singularity in the Big Bang arose. So I gave you an example from theism and an example from an atheistic worldview. No, now, you gave an example. I'd like, to, I'd, like to, I'd like to get my question out that you have refused to let me ask. No, because we're still talking about this one. We finish what we start. So the, so the, so the answer is no, you're not going to let me ask my question. Is that it? When we finish this, Are we move on to, to the let next. Let me ask my question. Are you going to let me ask my question? When we're done, yes. So you're not. So you're afraid of hearing my question. Is that it? No, I just don't need you to run roughshod and yeah, I, and I, and, I, and I, avoid things. Roughshod. Okay, then listen. I'm not avoiding things. Then listen, because right now it really sounds like you are. So let's let's go back. Okay. I'm stalling your back, answer. Yeah. This is my freaking show. Right, I could have gone on without you on hold again, right? I could have gone on and ended the show without talking to you at all. It is a privilege when you call in, not a right. You don't have the right unless you are having a productive conversation because that's what we do here. So, let's go back. EF. Okay, I'll try to get my question out again. Are you going to cut me off again? W when you finish I have this conversation, question. then you, you can ask your it? question. I want to ask a question. Are you, you going to let me get my question out? Or once are you we afraid finish. Of my question? Um, I'd once like we to finish, ask, ask a question. So you can ask your question. I'll hold, I'll hold again. Um, here's the thing you said a God can be defined that is unconditionally undependent or non dependent. Cool. Um, I can define myself as a deity too. Um, but the, the thing is, is we're not getting any closer to finding out what is true. So when I asked you if you can give me an example of a thing, I think I made a mistake here because the mistake that I made was I didn't ask you what existent thing that we can agree on has those qualities. And how do you even know that it's necessary? If you can answer that, we'll move on to your question. Is he talking in like in, a, in an abstract, hypothetical kind of way in, 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 in the sense like, okay, some say gods are this and some say, you know, matter is this. I don't know. As soon as I asked a clarifying, he said I was rude and I cut in. And, uh, and then he said, I need to ask a question, yeah. which to me smacks of completely dodging. Yeah. Right. Which is why I want to finish this because I want to actually see the conclusion before we change the subject. Okay. Right? As a precep, you are doing a very poor job because what you're doing is you are, instead of actually demonstrating the thing that you're talking about, which I'd be happy to have, right now you're relying on dodging, and I, that's, that's not okay. So, again, let's bring you back. Hey, EF. Yeah, who's being dishonest here? There's no dodging. Uh, you're the one who's dodging. You will not let me get oh, my man. question out. Every I'm rubber, time I attempt to ask and question, you are glue. You me off. Now, what? are you going to let me get my question out unfettered and uncut off? This is my last time I'm going to say this. I don't care. Cool. Are then you're done. Yeah. <laughs> you don't care. You're not worth my time. You're not worth the time of the people who are watching this show. If you want to call and have an honest discussion, you are absolutely welcome to. We want to have those discussions. But if you've called because you want to read a script, if you've called because you think that it makes you sound really good by completely dodging, you have a burden of evidence, right? You're making a claim. I'm not. And so when you make a claim, if you're going to say, I just know because I know, and then completely dodge around the fact that that is the presupposition, 
then there's really no point in having a conversation with you at all, is there? You can just have that conversation with yourself. You can have it with a teddy bear. I don't care because there's no point in me coming back and actually exploring it with you because you have no intent to. And I've seen this. I've seen it with this precep. I've seen it with other precepts. And the idea is I have special knowledge and I am going to duck, dodge, dive, dip, and dodge. He dodged twice. Um, instead of actually responding. So, um, no, man, you don't get room on my show.